Question 2, Part A. Define the term entrepreneur for two marks. Let's get in. All right, so when you're writing, try and make sure it stays within the line, but I write in with this kind of pen thing, so excuse me for that. So we're looking at how we get in our two marks here. The entrepreneur is an individual who takes the risk of starting a business venture. This here is actually only one mark. To get the second mark, you have to put a next point. So you have the entrepreneur um, takes all profits and all losses made by the business. That's how we get our two marks for the definition of entrepreneur. Part B, list four characteristics of a typical entrepreneur for four marks. This is lovely. We're just going to go straight down, giving the list, and this comes straight out of your syllabus. So let's list them out. So I listed seven, but they asked for four. So when you answer, and actually give four. But these are the seven from the syllabus that you could use any of these to get your answer. So we have they must be creative, innovative, flexible, goal oriented, persistent, persevering, and have a propensity to take calculated risk. Question C. Describe two roles of an entrepreneur for four marks. The roles of the entrepreneur that comes again from our syllabus. All right, so of course, when you write any answer, you give two, but we generous in the student hub, so we give you three. So the first one we have is conceptualizing, where the entrepreneur creates the business idea that meets the wants and needs of the potential market. Planning, the entrepreneur sets out the business objectives and goals to be met and how they will be achieved. Uh, the th a third one is, is accessing funds. The entrepreneur organizes the funds needed to start up and run a successful business venture. These points here come straight out of the syllabus. However, the explanation would have come from your textbook or for the students from the student hub in the class, you would have got it straight in your notes, right? And for the students who are not in the student hub yet, it's about time to get in the student hub so you can get the notes. ka -chow. Part D. State four reasons why a person may desire to start a business. This here, again, straight out the syllabus. So I don't know if you all see in how, like, CSEC... They want you all to do well, especially for POB. They want you all to do well, but you just have to put in your work and read your textbook, read the notes, read the syllabus, and know how to answer. So let us write out the answers now. All right, nice. So we've seen here state four, and for four marks, I gave you all five. Uh, so any, any, any four to these five here, and you will get your marks. Let me draw that a little better. Yes. All right, so we have the for financial independence, for self fulfillment. You want to feel good about yourself. A uh, person will start a business in order to for self actualization to reach their maximum potential within their self to increase their income. They find a day job, your nine to five, not looking enough, not making enough. You know, not enough money is making. So you want to start your business and make more and to have more control over your time. Nobody is in charge of your time as the business owner or when you start your business you in charge your own time you're your own boss so these are four reasons why a person may start a business we reach into part e and this is where we have reached where csec slapped your slapped them who did the exam with a six mark question so let's see how we approach a six mark question so part e explain two ways in which an entrepreneur could positively contribute to our country's economic development so one thing we could do is we're looking at we do the maths so you see in two ways entrepreneur positively contribute to economic development and we're doing maths. So we know that it is for six marks. And it is two ways. So we do a nice little division there. And we realize it is equal to three marks per way. Right? Um, these ways, they are given in the syllabus. The ways themselves. But then after the description, that this is where you will have to 
go into either if the textbook would explain it well word but certain textbook didn't explain it well but this is where we apply understanding just of through the classes through the learn and how to answer questions as such so let's get in all right so welcome to our six mark six marks question and uh, this is how we go about answering this so part one uh, response one il collaborating so we have where the entrepreneur is able to start and run their businesses entrepreneurs bring together factors of production or bring together people to work uh, in order to achieve the set goals and objectives so this is part one of the explanation so first you're getting a, a mark for putting collaborating then after explaining what collaborating is after we explain collaborate we have to explain how this positively contributes to the country's um, economic development and we have by working together citizens are able to be more productive which increases the output of the country leading to increased gdp which is economic development so that's um the first part uh, our first response or one way the second way is by providing goods to satisfy citizens and that will be one mark entrepreneurs businesses are geared towards meeting the wants and needs of consumers by providing goods and services to consumers which include citizens it's supposed to be here two consumers ways i can't even stick it in so it's gonna pull star and the star is two consumers all right and these consumers include our country's citizens and this will lead to happier workers within once their once and needs are satisfied through the goods and services provided by the entrepreneurs they'll be happier and once you're happier the assumption is that the workers and or the citizens will be more productive within the country and this will lead to increased gdp so this is how you get your three marks in this question so three and three we got our six marks yes let's continue going forward